All right, we're back again today, and today is a long way today. Today is the release of our Lone Star Grills pellet smokers. And one thing I want to mention before I get too far into the overview or the walk around, and that is something that we are very proud of here at Lone Star Grills, and that is that this is 100% made in America. Everything you see here is made in the U.S. Controllers are made by none other than Fireboard Labs in Kansas City, and everything else here is manufactured on site by us. No Chinese made feeders, no Chinese made junk controllers, everything is made in the US and we worked really hard on that and that's something we're very proud of. Now, next we have two models. We have our 20 by 36, which is our smaller version and our 20 by 42, which is six inches larger. Everything about the pellet smokers aside from the length of the barrel is the same. Same 40 pound hopper on both of them. Same wheel packages on both. They both are gonna come with the five inch caster we have the option to upgrade to an eight inch and we also have the option for our off-road package if you need to really get this off road and off the beaten path. Next, thickest pellet smoker in its class. Nobody out there makes a pellet smoker as thick as us. 3 16th steel on the cook chamber. Uh, we believe that that thicker steel is thermal mass that is gonna help hold that temperature even throughout the cook. So no tin cans here, no temperatures jumping all over the place thick American steel. We've gone to the extra trouble and expense. That way it's a better performing pellet smoker. 14 gauge on the hoppers, 14 gauge on the table and stand, and then that heavy duty 1 8 inch deflector plate that I'll show you a little later on. Fully adjustable smoke stack on them so you can control the amount of smoke that you're going to have while you cook. Stainless cool touch spring handles made in America, tell true temp gauge. We do have the ability to monitor the temp digitally, but good old fashioned made in America temp gauge here. Another unique feature on our pellet smoker here is that our fire pot is removable from the outside. We're gonna pull off the latches, slide that out. Now we can take our fire pot. Every time we're done, we can dump our ashes out. That way we don't have to disassemble the entire smoker and get a shot back in there. When you're done, lock it back up. Again, 40 pound hopper. So this will hold 40 pounds of pellets. We also have a pellet dump feature on our, on our hopper. Around the back side, we have a pellet dump that allows us to completely drain all the pellets out of the hopper. So say you want to cook with oak today and during the middle of the cook possibly or on your next cook, you want to swap out to a different flavor. No problem. Put a bucket on the back, open up the slide gate and all the pellets will dump out. Also that's been designed so that you won't have rainwater entering into your pellet hopper like some of the other designs have. So that's been addressed here as well. Pellet smokers are going to come with a probe port here so we can run all of our meat probes inside of there and then that just slides back down on top of it. Folding front table comes standard along with two utensil hooks. Now, these cookers are set up to cook in several different ways. Of course, this is your traditional pellet grill and your traditional pellet smoker. So we can maintain our temperature anywhere from 160 to 450. Uh, that's air temp. That's not direct grilling temps. That can get much higher if we do the direct grill mode. So we can do indirect cooking from 160 to 450. We also have a unique cold smoke function here. So just like it sounds, cold smoking, true cold smoking, just smoke, no heat. Uh, and then in addition to that, we'll take a little bit of this out. Of course we have slide out grates. Show you this here. So two levels of cooking, five inches of clearance here, five inches of clearance here. But if you wanted to do a turkey or stand up chicken, you can always slide one of those grates out. That way you have plenty of extra headroom here. Now for our deflector, our heat deflector and grease drain are sloped downhill. There's a grease trap to the left. So no grease will get back into your cooking chamber. And then we also have a drain on the outside, which um, we offer a ball valve to make that easier to drain out as well. Now this is shown in the indirect cooking mode. So we've got our deflector plate here, 
all the heat comes around the deflector and you're cooking indirectly. Now slide our baffle over and we've got our direct grill mode where we've got all of our heat vents here directly above the fire pot which allows us to cook directly whether that be fajitas, burgers, steaks, whatever it is now we're directly cooking over the pellet pot. Slide it back conveniently and now we're back to indirect grilling. Now, next function on this, something that is also unique to Lone Star Grills that nobody else has. Not only can you use this as a pellet smoker, but with the addition of our main chamber grilling grate, which you see here, this just sets down in the bottom. So we've taken our deflector out, we've set our main chamber grilling grate here, which is a self-contained unit. You've got your grate for charcoal and a self-contained ash pan. Now we put our charcoal in here, light that, control our temp with our stack, and now we have a charcoal grill. Uh, also unique, nobody else has anything like that, so now we have a charcoal grill and a pellet smoker and a cold smoker all in one unit. Now, something else that I believe a lot in is the ability to cook with water. Every smoker that we make has the ability, whether you use it or not, it doesn't mean you have to cook with water, but every smoker we make across the line has the ability to smoke with water. So now we can add a full-size foil pan to the bottom of both models. This foil pan can be filled with water, apple juice, vinegar, beer, any combination, anything to give you some humidity while you're cooking. A lot of guys like to have that extra humidity while they're cooking. Um, believe that it keeps some things from drying out, especially on longer cooks. There's some arguments about the kind of bark that the humid air makes and the smoke. So that is an option. Drop that foil pan in there. When you're done, take it out, toss it, you're good to go. Uh, some other unique features that we've incorporated into this. So we have a ceramic hot air ignition system. What that means is no more of the old style metal electrodes that go out all the time. Ours is gonna use hot air ignition. So hot air is actually what is igniting the pellets, not metal touching the actual pellets, which corrodes them. These electrodes, the ceramic, are not only are they uh, more reliable, faster lighting, but they also last a very long time. They're tested at over 100,000 cycles, so that's on and Our off. Our auger on this is an open center auger. So uh, the other problem common with a lot of pellet smokers is augers jamming. The, because of our design on our auger with our open center, it is nearly impossible for the auger to jam. Now, the controller. The controller is very unique in several ways. Number one, this controller does not need any other devices to tether to it. We can control everything we need to control from right here. That means that we can turn it on, we can set the temperature, we can set cold smoke, normal mode, we can do it all right here, and we can plug in our meat probes up to six of them. We can put six meat probes at once on the fireboard, run them through here to help monitor any of the proteins. We can do all that from this unit. Now taking it to the next level, we go to the Apple Store, the Android Store, we download the app, and now we've got on our smart device an app that we can take it even a step further. So not only can we go on our phone now, change the temperatures, monitor the temperatures, and all of those great things that fireboard allows us to do, but we can also incorporate step programs, step cooking. In other words, let's say we have a brisket. We put our meat probe in it, we plug it in, and we say we want to cook two hours at 225. Then our second step, after that two hours, we want to bump the temperature up to 250, continue cooking until our internal temperature now reaches 200. Our third step, once it hits 200, we want to drop the temperature down to 160, that way it rests. And we can do as many of those steps as we want, whether it be time, temperature, or a combination of both, either by using time or internal temp or the temperature of the actual cooker itself. So taking this to a whole new level, we can control every aspect of the cook. Next, on these cooks, while we're doing, say, our brisket cook today or our pork butt, if you have a fireboard, you're familiar with this feature already, we can log our cooks and we can save them. We can take a picture with our phone, we can attach it to that cook, and then we can make notes. So we have a digital cookbook or a digital reference that we can always go back to. Whether our cook turned out good or bad, 
we can go back and find out what did we do right and what did we do wrong, and how do we replicate it or how do we not do that again. So now we have a digital reference of every single one of our cooks, including graphs of the pit, graphs of the proteins, whether it be one meat probe or all six. So very versatile, and again, you don't have to have a smart device, but if you have one, it just takes the controller to a whole new level. Controller is gonna operate via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, um, and it will also operate on the cloud if you have it connected to Wi-Fi. So you don't necessarily have to be right next to the controller if you run to the store and you have an alert set up and call back home to the wife, say, I gotta wrap the brisket, it just reached 165. Those are all things that we can do. Um, and all very easy to do. It's all very intuitive, just like all the other Fireboard products. Okay, and now just a quick overview of how we turn the grill on and off and some of its functions uh, as it's powered on. So to turn the grill on, we're simply gonna push our power button right here. As the controller comes up, you can see press start, normal mode, or turn for more options. So now you can see you turn for cold smoke back to normal mode. When you find the mode that you want, press the button, and the ignition process will now begin to ignite the pellets and bring the temp up to your set point, which here is 225. As you see, you simply turn the knob, and we can adjust the temperature in five degree increments any way up or down. Now once you're done cooking, simply press the power button one more time, and now it will enter a cool down mode where it starts to go through a cool down process, making sure that all the pellets are completely extinguished out of the burn pot, and that everything is cooled down and safe for it to power down. Once that process has completed, then the unit will power off all by itself. Now, again, to recap, we have our two models, 20 by 42, 20 by 36. These are gonna be available very soon on our website. They're also available here for you to view in person in our showroom in Willis, Texas. If you have any more questions on our pellet smokers or any of our other products, please check us out at LoneStarGrills.com or give us a call, 936-344-6151. Thank you.